You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Weird Science Comics YouTube channel, where I'm going to be reviewing Clobbering Time number one. And I think I've heard someone say that looks are deceiving maybe once or twice. And I think there may be some sort of saying about judging a book by its cover, but I'm a big dummy with poor hearing, so I rarely listen to those things. And, well, that kind of bit me in the ass here because Steve Scrooge's clobbering time looked like a whole lot of fun to me. The thing in the Hulk on the cover looking like old school cartoon action figures got me excited to read it. And the thing is actually saying clobbering time himself on the cover. He said the title of the book. Too bad I went and ruined things by reading the issue instead of just giggling at that cover. Now, before we go on, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, enable the notifications, and please let me know what you thought of clobbering time. Number one, in the comments below. I already said it, but I'll repeat myself. Steve Scrooge is on both writing and art duties here. I don't think he's related to Jim Croce at all since he has a different name, but I've not seen anyone confirm or deny that to this point. His art, though, reminds me of a couple of my favorite artists, Daniel Warren Johnson, even Chris Burnham. So it's fair to say that I think he is a good artist. As far as his writing goes, I think he's a good artist. By the way, my favorite Jim Croce song is Rapid Roy, the Stock Car Boy, which I, I do think is a hidden gem. Now, I probably could summarize the entire plot to this issue in a sentence or two, but what kind of review would that be? So I'm going to take inspiration from the issue itself and stretch this one out. Stretch it thin. I'll even call it review in time to get into the spirit of things. So here goes review in time. The issue starts with Ben Grimm showing up to eat lunch with Reed and Bruce Banner. But conveniently, Reed is busy doing Reed things when an Iron Man, Ultron, Doctor Doom hybrid guy steps out of a portal, grabs Ben and Bruce and throws them into a fantasy dimension of what I described hairless gremlins, demons and possibly bears. Oh, my. Don't worry about why this is happening. Just enjoy the duo killing a kaiju, then a demon king, then a demon horde. Or don't. I mean, I didn't really enjoy it myself, so who am I to tell you what to do? And at one point, our heroes could have bailed on the hairless gremlins, but they didn't because, you know, they're heroes. I didn't see that one coming. By the end, the hairless gremlins don't get wet or fed after midnight, and Ben and Bruce get to go home because the Celestials showed up and made it so. If that doesn't sound like fun to you, we also get a Chalamet forehead joke and Johnny Storm laughing at Ben for the amount of Twitter followers he has. Now, I would have preferred a Shalimar joke and maybe seeing Johnny punch himself in the face here, but beggars can't be choosers. And I say that because I was begging for this issue to end after a couple pages. How can an issue that looks so fun be the opposite of that? How can a book with such a bare-bones story feel like such a slog to get through? I'm not totally sure, but Steve Scrooge nails it here. I usually give a book three issues before deciding if I should drop it or not, but I can kind of read the writing on the wall here, and I don't need to see much more. My guess is that everyone will join me after another issue or two, because besides being just a bad first issue, there's nothing by the end of this to make you think it'll get any better because who knows what really is going on here. I'm guessing we're going to get pretty much character guest stars of the month doing wacky, crazy stuff with really fun looking art, but a slog of a story. That's just me, though. I'm going to give this a generous six out of ten pretty much for the art alone. So that's it. That's it. Review and time is over. I hope that you enjoyed the review. If you did again, please subscribe, enable, like, all that. But really, let me know what you thought of Clobbering Time, number one, in the comments below, especially if you did like it. If you liked it more than the art and liked the story, I'd love to hear why. And maybe you can get me inspired to maybe like it a little bit. So with all of that, I will see you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.